how do we solve this problem? So our first method, we use northwest corner method to get the visible solution. Remember, in determining the visible solution or initial visible solution, we have three methods: northwest corner method, lowest cost method, and for gel method. So we are starting with number one, northwest corner method. Now, in our northwest corner method, this is the formulation of the equation for the problem. So we have destination, source, void, Chemeli, Nairobi, supply. Capsabet is 624150. Busia is 38740. Meru is 44260. Demand is 29535. Our supply is 50, 40, 60. Now, normally we have two areas to be concerned. Is the equation balanced or not balanced? So as far as our equation is concerned, it is balanced. When you total the supply and demand, they must be equal. That's number one assumption. They must be equal. To know whether the problem is balanced or unbalanced, hence this is the problem since the total for supply is equal to the total for demand. So our equation is balanced. So we start our problem. So this is the presentation of our problem. Using the northwest corner method, now we are changing gears. We want to do it practically. I believe this is our ruler. Now we are doing northwest corner method. Northwest corner method. Now in northwest corner method, we need to have the values. So we have destination and the source, whereby in destination we have Voy Gemelil and nairobi now our source is capsabet lucia and meru so capsabet the values are six four one fifty for supply and then for busia is three eight seven forty then meru is four four 260. Now this is the presentation of our table whereby the demand will be 20, 95, 35. Balancing at 150. So the first thing we need to do in Northwest Corner method is take the cell 11. Our cell 11 will be our cell 11 is here capsabet and voy is our cell one one this is our northwest corner as far as the table is concerned so what we do we initiate the process we compare the demand is 20 the supply is 50 so which one is the minimum we go for the minimum which is 20 and we allocate 20 here so meaning that voy has been exhausted the demand for void has been exhausted so we still have a supply of 20 so 50 minus 20 is 30 so we are remaining with 30 the next northwest corner me method the reduced this is our reduced matrix so in our reduced matrix again we take the northwest corner our northwest corner method is here so between 30 and 95 which one is the minimum minimum is 30 so we do the allocation of 30 meaning that the supply for this side has been exhausted absorbed has been exhausted so we are remaining with chemelil nairobi Busia, and meru so again we go to the northwest corner our northwest corner is here again we do the allocation we allocate between so just a minute 35 95 remain 65 so between 65 and 40 which one is minimum 40 so we take 40 we are remaining with uh, 25 so this row has been exhausted 
So we are remaining with 40, 4, 2, 60. Now our northwest corner is here. Cell 2, 1. Cell 3, 1. Whereby we have what? Between 25 and 60. Which one is minimum? 25. So you write 25. This has been exhausted. So we are remaining with 35. So 35, 35. The last cell will be 35. Now in our location, we identify the rows which has been allocated. It's M times N minus 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3 times 3 minus 1, which is giving us 5. So, no, no, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 times 3, 9, 9, nine 8. Now we identify the cells which have been allocated. So we have C11, one, one, which is here. C12, which is here. C21, C22. Then we have C32. Then we have C so we have C mm, just a minute we have C two two C two two C two three C two four so C two two yes okay so C three two and then C three three what are the values we have C11 is 20 times 6. C12 is 40 times 8. C22, mm, just a minute, just a point of correction. It's 30 times 4. So this is 30 times 4. C22 is 40 times Eight C two C three two is twenty five times four. Then C three three is thirty five times two. So when you multiply, you get twenty one twenty one twenty forty two three twenty twenty five times four hundred thirty five times two seventy total. When you say 120 plus 120 plus 320 gives us a total of 660. So the minimum cost for transporting a product from the source to the destination is actually costing 360. Now we can have this as our presentation. So the ones I've marked red establishes our minimum schedule for minimum cost. So we have 620, 430, 840, 425, 235. So the minimum cost will be 660. So we are good to go.